Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am packing to go to my sister's graduation and it will be my cousin's graduation as well. And a few days after that, we are heading to the beach for a week from there. So I have about 11 days worth of packing I had to do today for my kids and myself and some of my husband's as well. And it is so late. It's probably like one or two o'clock in the morning and I'm just now finishing up. And I also had to get like everything together for the pets and all that and for the people that are taking care of our pets. So I've been super busy and I'm so sorry that I have not been responding to comments for like the last two days. I've just been insanely busy. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to show you what I've packed. I'm not going to show you like all my clothes and everything. I'm just going to show you the makeup that I packed for this trip because I'm exhausted and I just, I just can't. So we are going to the beach again in a month. So I will try to be on the ball and do a full pack with me video and I'll show you my bag and everything else and the makeup too. So if you are interested, then just keep watching. Right. So this is my Vera Bradley makeup bag. This is the one I used to travel. I got this as a gift when I was a bridesmaid in one of my best friend's weddings. And I absolutely love this for traveling. I can fit a lot of makeup in here and it's very neat and organized. And it's like a really pretty, fun fabric and I just love it. And I highly recommend getting one. So yeah, let's get into the bag. So the first thing I'm pulling out up here is this La Roche-Posay Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Anthelios Mineral Ultralight Sunscreen Fluid. And this is just basically a tinted moisturizer with um, SPF 50 sunscreen in it. And it also says it has Cellox Shield, UVA, UB, UVB, and antioxidant. And this is also water resistant, fragrance free, paraben free, and tested on sensitive skin. So yeah, so I have this. And because I'm going to be out in the sun quite a lot, I thought I would pack this since it does have SPF 50. Okay, next I'm pulling out this Pure CC Cream and this is SPF 40 and this is just a color correction cream and this is in the shade Light. Next, I'm pulling out some Duo Lash Glue. And I'm going to be bringing my Poise Kiss Lashes. There are only three pairs left in here, but that's all I will need. I can reuse them multiple times, so it's no problem. Next, I'm pulling out this Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation in Medium Light Neutral. And lastly, for this pocket, I'm pulling out this La Roche Posay Anthelios 50, let's see, Daily Anti Aging Primer. And it is the same kind of stuff going on as the. Oh, sorry, I'm so tired. I'm just completely out of it. This is the um, tinted moisturizer and this is just a primer and I really like this primer. And again, because we're going to be at the beach out in the sun, I like that these have SPF 50 and I will be using them when I am out on the beach or out in the sun. So. Okay, on to the next pocket. So this is my Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. This, this is one of the primers I'll be bringing. And I'm also bringing 
my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Sorry, I cannot talk tonight. My mouth is so dry. I should have got a drink before filming this. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and I'm bringing this coconut oil. I'll just use that as like my moisturizer for my face before I do my makeup. And then this is in a Gerard Cosmetics bottle, but this is actually the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray that I put in here. So I'll be bringing this with. And I'm hoping that is going to be enough for the whole time. Probably not, but we'll figure something out, right? <laughs> Okay, and next I have this bag. Okay, on to the next pocket. So I have a Eco Tools blender in here, just a blending sponge. And a few lipsticks. This is the Bare Minerals. And this is the Marvelous Moxie in the shade Take Charge. And I have some Buxom lipstick in the shade Dolly. And this is one of my favorite lip glosses. This is the Smashbox Coraline or Coraline. And this is their Be Legendary lip gloss. Next, I'm pulling out my Stila Magnificent Metals glitter eyeshadow and this is the rose gold retro and then I have three different concealers in here I've got my Tarte Shape Tape of course and this is shade light and I have my Too Faced Born This Way concealer also in the shade light. And then I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage concealer. And this is the shade Medium Light Neutral. Alright, next I'm pulling out some mascara. I've got my Benefit Roller Lash in here, travel size and my Clinique Lash Power, and these are my two favorite mascaras currently. Okay, and then I just got some Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, some Chapstick Lips 101, okay, and then the rest are like Tim's, so I have my Tarte Fake Awake Eyeliner, or eye Highlighter, and then I have my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe, and I have my M Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner, or their Illustrative Eyeliner with the brush tip, and this is the shade, this is just a black liquid eyeliner. And I just got some Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil. And this is the shade Lush. It's just a dark brown. And another Urban Decay Eyeliner. And this is the shade Oozy. And one more Urban Decay Eyeliner. And this is the shade Invasion. And... This is a L'Oreal Color Rich or Color Riche lip liner in the shade Forever Rose. And I have a L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Blonde. And a Wet n Wild lip liner. And this is Never Petal Down. Alright, and for this last pocket here. So this is where I've got like my palettes. So I've got this little tartlet tease to go. Just a little travel size eyeshadow palette. And I've got this NARS Blush and Bronzer Duo. 
And I've got this Smashbox Contour Kit. Another Tartlet or Tardist Pro To Go Travel Palette. Next, I've got this Flower Beauty Blush, Bronzer, and Highlighter Palette, which I have not tried yet. And I've got my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. It is dirty. And lastly, I've got my Makeup Geek Z Palette. And this has mostly Makeup Geek shadows in it. So there are those. And then I have an Urban Decay shadow and an Ofra setting powder or banana powder. So that is everything for this bag. Next we can move on to my makeup brushes. Okay, so this is what it looks like all rolled up. So you just fold it into itself and then it has a little place where you can tie it together. And it's got some little handles so you can carry it. This is the back side. So yeah. All right, let's move on to brushes. Okay, so we're gonna start with eye brushes. I've got an eyebrow uh, brush and this is by Kala. Then I've got the Morphe MB19. And this is a lip brush. Then I've got the Morphe M521. Just a Kala blending brush. And, or no, this is a crease brush. This is the 415 crease brush. Then I'm taking this Scone blending brush. Morphe M441. Morphe R40, Oops. Morphe M510, and I do need to wash a few of these, but I can do that when I get there or in the morning before we leave. M443, this Luxie 221 flat definer. The Morphe 518, Morphe M502, Morphe E18, Morphe E36. Morphe 515, Morphe 562, and lastly the Morphe 22, M225. So yeah, most of my eyeshadow brushes are Morphe. Most of my brushes, period, are Morphe. I know a lot of people don't like them, and a lot of people do, but I really love their brushes. I have no complaints. They have worked very well for me. So yeah, these are just a few of my favorites that I like to bring with. And let's move on to face brushes. So the first one is this Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And I use this one for bronzing. This is the Morphe M527. The Morphe G1. This one's good for blending out contour. The Morphe R10, I like to contour with this one. The Luxie 660, and this is good for so many different things, so I like to have like a multi-purpose brush with. And this is my Kala powder brush. And my Kala blush brush. This is a Real Techniques contour brush, but I also use this one for blending out contour and different things. This one is the Real Techniques pointed foundation brush. I don't use this for foundation. I use this more for either concealer or under eye setting. So. 
Next is the Morphe M501. I like to use this one for highlighting. And lastly, the Morphe M436, which desperately needs to be washed, but this is the one I'll be using for foundation. So yeah, so that is everything that I'm packing as far as makeup goes for this trip. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I thank you all so much for watching. I know I've been like all over the place, can't talk, half asleep, but it is what it is. This is going to be more like a janky blog or vlog style video, more so than like a professional pack with me bougie video. So anyway, I hope you liked it either way. And yeah, I love you all so much. And Jesus loves you too. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye.